I just want to thank everyone, all the major case squad detectives, all the police department, everyone for bringing my son's killer into custody. It's a long recovery, but this is a start for me and my family. So once again, thank everyone that was involved. And now I'm going to focus on burying my son and moving forward. So Charge is a Tamon, middle initial is F, the last name is Ford. He's an 18-year-old man from Alton, and he is the person who's responsible for shooting the gun out of a car, as was previously described, striking uh, the, the young child. Did she made him put some pants on, then he walked outside, and then after that, somebody, my friend out from the door said, your son out here think he fainted, and then he was in the center, laying on the table, and then he lifted his shirt up, and he had a hole. I tapped his head, and then, then he didn't say nothing. And, and, and you know, if you knew your brother was listening right now, what would you say to him right now? Senseless murder, it didn't have to happen. Well, as far as what led to it, any details like that, I'm going to refer to the state's attorney's office. I don't want to get into releasing information. It shouldn't be released. But you will. I will say in the press release that's that's coming out that there was a disagreement between basically two people. There's been a lot of questions of me throughout the week about Facebook. These disagreements did hit social media, and it led to an anticipated fight, at which time when the car drove by, one of the occupants in the car pulled out a gun and started firing in the direction of this youth center which had probably 20 to 30 people, young young people, uh, standing on the parking lot striking, striking the victim. Sir, 